Hello, welcome to Making Forests in World Edit. So I'm going to go through everything that is related to forests and also the flowers as well. And I'm just going to go through the different commands because they're all in different sections. So the first one I want to look at is generation. So we've got nothing selected. We don't even have, so we're not even going to think about that. So the forest gen. So if we look at the forest gen, we have three different arguments here. We have size, type, and and and. Uh, I was going to say destiny, but it's density. So the default, and, and okay, so let's start with size. So it doesn't, it's not showing you here, but there, I can assure you there what they are. So it says the size is the radius of a cuboid centered on your placement position. So we're going to say we want it to be radius. So say we do 25. So that means it's going to be 50 by 50. Okay. And now we're going to have type. So we can choose what type of forest would we like to have. And I'm going to say that we want to have an acacia forest. Now we need to say the density. It says the density can vary between 0 and 100. And numbers like 0 0.1 will work. The default density of 5 is already rather dense. So let's have it not too dense then. And we'll just do 2. And that should be it. So then we just will create it. And you can see we've created 41 trees in a certain radius. And again, we had nothing selected at all. What is another way to do this? All right, so that's one way to create a forest. Now let's go back to that's the individual tree. So we're going to say we want to just create a, an acacia tree, right? So we have the, two, uh, the tree tool. You can see we can now create a tree like this. You can see I can create now a variety of different acacia trees with this tool. And that will just create single trees whenever I click. So in, in the middle of these two, you could have a brush. So that's going to be the brush, and we'd make a forest brush. We're going to have the shape of it. We'll go for cuboid. Uh, radius, we'll try, say, 5. It's going to be smaller. Density, again, we're going to go quite low and do 2. And again, we're going to do acacia. So set, set brush to scatter tree of type acacia. So you can see it's going to give me a small area of acacia trees whenever I click down. So that would be like a brush. So you can see as we go around, if I want it, it will let me say I wanted to do sort of a circle kind of shape of the trees. I could do something like that. I know you're going to get bunch of trees in a circle like that. Okay, I want to look at this one again. Forest Gen 25 Acacia 2. So that creates a large area. But what if we wanted to be specific about the area where that was created? Let's do now let's now use the Totem of Undying here. And we can want this one to be the let's make this one the selection one. So I will I will get into the selection in more detail at another point. But for now what we're going to do is we're just going to take our Totem of Undying there's our first position, and here's a handy block I just placed. And there's our second. So we've got a reasonably large area in there. If we wanted to count, we could do count and then do air here. You can see we've got 13,199 blocks in that area. So that is selected. Okay, so you can see we, we selected from there to about somewhere around here, right? So what if we then wanted to have a forest in this selected area? Then we'd use an additional command, which is going to be this one. It's just going to be the word forest. And this time, again, we're going to go for acacia. And again, we're going to have a density of two. So let's see what happens this time. So actually, I think maybe it, the area was a little bit smaller than I said. But you can see it's only creating these trees within the area selected. And then once we've got too many, probably won't be able to do many more than that. And then what we can do with this region, we can also run the flora command. Let's see what happens there. We can see it's going to create flora within the region. You can see we've got some flowers being created. So yeah, so yeah, that's a guide to some of the forest commands. I'll be looking at some different topics in subsequent episodes. So thanks for watching.